Honda quick tip of the day. What's the difference between a VTEC and a VTC? Let's find out. In simple terms, I'm going to explain what the difference is between a VTEC and a VTC on a Honda. Our demonstration vehicle today is a 2.4 liter Honda Accord with a K24 engine. On this engine, our VTEC solenoid valve is located right back there, right here where my finger is. And the VTC oil control valve is right down here, right there. You can't see it, but it's right under there. And what does VTEC stand for? Well, the short version is valve timing electronic control. The long version is variable valve timing and lift electronic control. Yeah, just rolls off the tongue. And VTC stands for variable valve timing control, so it's easy to get them confused. Now, both of these solenoids are engine computer controlled, and basically when they're energized, they send oil through small little passages up to our intake cam, and they manipulate our intake valves. And how they manipulate those intake valves depends on whether it's the VTEC activating or the VTC. Now the VTEC system uses a low and a high cam load profile to control our intake valves. And under low RPM conditions, the computer is not doing anything and the intake valves are controlled by this low profile cam lobe. And in order to improve torque and fuel efficiency at higher RPMs, the engine computer will activate the VTEC solenoid and that sends oil through passages and basically it will lock up these two cams and then it will start using the high profile cam lobe and basically that extends the duration and time of our valve lift. Our VTC system also manipulates our intake valves to improve fuel efficiency and emissions and engine performance but it does it a little bit differently than our VTEC system. Our VTC oil control valve is supplying oil up to our intake cam sprocket. As you can see, this intake cam sprocket looks different than our exhaust cam sprocket. And it's controlling our intake valves by changing the phase of our cam sprocket right here. And it's doing that through oil and it's fully variable, so it's able to either advance or retard our intake cam timing based on things like engine speed, vehicle speed, engine load, things like that and it's fully variable, it's doing it all the time. Got everything put back together on our demonstration vehicle, and I did want to mention, this is an older generation BTEC system, so it only has one solenoid back there, and so it's only controlling our intake valves. Newer generation systems have more than one solenoid, so they can control not only our intake valves, but our exhaust valves as well. So in short, our VTEC system controls how long our valves are open, and our VTC system controls the timing of our intake valves in relationship to the exhaust valves. This was just a brief overview, but now hopefully you understand the differences between these two Honda systems. And as always, if the video helped you out, you liked it, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. All right, a little bit of bonus footage. If you want to look at the VTEC or the VTC systems on a scan tool, these are the data pids you're going to look for. For our VTEC system, we're going to look for our VTEC pressure switch, our VTEC solenoid valve, and our solenoid return signal. So basically, our VTEC pressure switch, that's going to be our oil pressure switch, and it's on when the system is off. And so when the um, engine computer turns our VTEC on, these two will change to on and then our pressure switch will change to off. So this signal return, it's using that just to determine whether we have a circuit problem with our solenoid valve and then it's using our pressure switch to determine whether we have an oil pressure problem. So that's how it can tell do we have a circuit problem or do we have an oil pressure problem on our VTEC system. And for our VTC system, we're going to look for VTC status cam position control, cam position control command, and our VTC solenoid duty cycle right there. So basically when the system's off, it's going to show off, and then when the system activates, that'll change to on. And down here on this one, we will see our duty cycle as a percentage right here. So if, it's a, if the computer is commanding that solenoid on, we'll see here as a percentage, like 30, 40% or whatever and right here we'll see these two data pids are in degrees so we'll see this one as what the computer is desiring that degree to be at for our cam and then this one will be the actual so that's how we can look at all of these data pids and determine um, what system is activated and whether we are having issues or not 
All right, we'll take it for a little test drive and watch our data. We can see our VTC activated. The VTEC, I gotta really kick it into gear. All right, I'm gonna see if I can hold the camera and make this VTEC kick in. Oh yeah, it kicked in, I felt it. Hopefully you can see it. And a lot of these scan tools will allow us to go in under active test and you can see we have a VTEC test or a VTC test. So I'm not going to do it right now, but it allows us to go in there and do some tests. And that can also help us determine if we have a problem. And that's it for this one. Thanks for sticking around to the end.